In today's video, we're opening third party graded mystery packs. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery opening. In this video, I have three variant graded cards, graded mystery packs, you could call them, that are, I, they look like the third party blisters that we open a lot, but they actually have graded cards inside. These were sent to me by the Uber Trading. We've interacted with him a few times, actually. Once at the Collecticon in Charlotte, you can go check out my vlog if you wanna see him in that. He's the one that I signed his for Ben Chalice. He then sent it back to me, graded, then we gave it away to you guys. He also sent this, which I believe is a giveaway. In this giveaway, we have a, oh, it's a, it's a graded card, End of Anubis. Very nice. BCCG. Very, very cool. I suspect that that's what we're going to be getting out of here, BCCG, but pretty cool to see like an actual old card graded in there rather than some random promo or something like that. So if you guys want to win this, just make sure to like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments, what do you think we're going to get from these variant graded cards? Hey, have you checked the community tab? That's where I announce my giveaway winners. On March 4th, I'm cutting off all giveaway claims because I'm getting overrun by giveaways. So make sure you claim it by March 4th or you will not be able to win your giveaway. So go to my YouTube channel, scroll over to the community tab, scroll down to all the different winners. You can control F, search your name if that helps because it might help you find it. You can scroll all the way for the past two, three years, see if you want anything. I'm getting overrun by extra giveaways that have not been claimed. If you don't claim it by March 4th, I'm officially taking it back for more giveaways and stuff like that so i'm giving you guys about a week and a half to claim all of these so that i can clear out my area all right and this is obviously not going to be the entire video or it'd be very short so i grabbed a couple of our favorite things mystery gems one of the worst mystery products of all time it's going to be interesting to see which is worse mystery gems or the variant graded cards i think mystery gems cannot get worse i mean at least you're getting iconic cards i guess but they're all kind of crappy then we have a few blister packs we're going to open up and a few booster packs so we've got up over 24 packs worth of stuff, including the mystery, you know, gems and stuff like that, whatever you call them. Let's just get right into it. I'm going to start off with some Battles of Chaos, which I'm excited because I want to pull that Dark Magician. I did once grade a PSA 10, but I ended up selling it. So maybe we could grade another PSA 10 and I could keep it. That might be fun. Ghost Trick Shot. We got Eurodor Fate. We're not going to do the uh, pack trick in here because Dark Magician could be at the end. We're not going to do it on that one. Then I have a couple OTS 21, which is very hot right now. I want to pull more Sprite blue because i ended up selling mine but i was playing sprite on master Duel. been doing that a lot on twitch go check it out my twitch channel twitch.tv slash ruxin34 and i want to make the deck now i'm not gonna lie the black feather counter okay just a super rare nothing too crazy there we do have some blisters which are going to be opening up so king's court first ed this is pretty cool i meant to open these in the collector rare video that we did and uh, i guess i missed these because uh they, they were kind of mixed in with the rage of raw they look very similar let's go a no pack trick here because i don't know how it works we got wicked eraser uh, Tornado Bringer, we got Dowsing Fusion, the Wicked Dread Roots, Pendulum Transfer, and Magnet Induction, another super rare. Let's go back to Battles of Chaos, then we'll do a Mystery Gems. I'm going to save those big ones till after the Mystery Gems, because those are those are pretty exciting. Clear New World, Dynamorphia Brute, let's get a Starlight out of here, why not? I'm down. Doll Monster, Dimension Conjure, Ice Jade, ugh, gross, Ice Jade, I forgot Ice Jades were in here. Those are just bad. They're just bad. All right, Mystery Gym time, will we pull? It says we can get a Legend of Blue Eyes, First Edition Blue Eyes, so... Let me know in the chat, aka the comments. I say the chat a lot now because we stream so much. Do you think it's possible to get a first edition LOB blue eyes? Or even not even a nine, like a one. You think you could get a one in here? If I got a one LOB first edition blue eyes, I would freak out. That would be that how good that would be. So a nine seems a little too good to be true. Here we go. All in here is what one, one graded card. There it is. As advertised. Let's see if it's any good. BCCG, probably, I'm guessing. Yeah, we've already done a thing. Apparently the PSA cards don't even fit in here, so they definitely can't do it. Okay, it looks like raw. Wing Dragon are raw, so pretty cool. I mean, they do give you the god cards, which is like, okay. I mean, but they're worth like a dollar each, so not that crazy. All right, our first graded card. We're going to we're gonna set it back there just so we can appreciate it. Let's go to Battles of Chaos yet again. Okay, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do a pack trick. Oh, into the line. The crazy looking pot of greed. I love it. Skilled Brown Magician, Rock Scales, Doll of Happiness. We got the Nordic Beast, uh, Razorbacks, Smoke Mosquito. Where are we going to get the Dark Magician here? Mad Hacker, Doll Monster imprudent intrusion so no we're not going to get it that time let's go to another ots 21 also need uh, i do kind of want to make this bright deck i know it's not great right now but it's good in master duel and it's fun black feather counter oh no not again not the same ones okay another battles of chaos because i do have a few of these can we get a starlight or a dark magician it's a fun set because you can get both which is pretty awesome skilled brown the yeah, super rare okay nothing there 
Uh, submarine tour ride and a monster rebirth. Okay, let's open this Battles of Legend. Speaking of Battles of Legend, this is Hero's Revenge. A set I've not opened a lot of, and it does have the Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos Secret Rare, the original print. I'd be pretty hyped if we could pull that. That would be pretty big. Let's see what we can pull. Secret Rare. Oh, it's right at the beginning. Five-Headed Dragon. I think that's actually a few bucks, though, so that's not a bad pull. Artifact Scythe. Oh, that would have been good, you know, back before it got, finally got banned. Uh, Water of Life, Super or Ultra Rare. Skulmata, cool Ultra. And Battle Wasp Nest. That's a pretty cool pack. Like, three out of five. I really like those cards. Okay, that was kind of sick, actually. We have one more of those, so we're going to be opening that up. Hopefully, we can pull that Battles of Legend or Battle... Blockbuster Soldier, Soldier Cast. There we go. <laughs> Epsilon, Kaiza. We got Ultimate Fusion. That's a Blue Eyes card. We have Shining. We have Top Share. Ognoidic. Ice Shade Erosion. So, yet again, not a Dark Magician. No, wait. Actually, let's go into Mystery Gems now. Second Mystery Gems. Will we get something else that we've never pulled? We've pulled all six of the cards at this point. Hopefully, it's something better than that. I don't think so. <laughs> this is just to make us feel really good about the variant graded cards and the other ones. We're going we're gonna to start off with the garbage and then finish with something good. Looks like another Winged Dragon Raw. Yes, double dragons of raw. Okay, so very cool there, I guess. Uh, super exciting. Back to Battles of Legend. Battles of Chaos. I literally have said the wrong thing. Okay, Neroy. This is just tripping me up. Kaiza, Naru, TD Griffin. All super so far. The Battles of Chaos. Maple Maiden. Smoke Mosquito. DDD Headhunt. Okay, tournament pack 21. Let's go OTS. Can you pull us an ultimate rare? We have a maze attraction. Please just don't be the black feather. All right, tier elements, tier elements, Merly, super rare. That's not terrible. We'll take it. Now it's time to open a secret Slayer's first edition and pull that Eldritch, the Golden Lord secret rare, which these can be pretty, pretty valuable. Last time I opened the set, they were crazy warped, so hopefully they're not so warped. They don't feel crazy warped right now. Uh, maybe a little warped. No, they feel pretty good, actually. Let's see. We have Adamant Spader Crystal Dragites. We've got Galaxy Cyclone. Nice reprint in there. Miracle Fertilizer. The Cyclamen, the Eureka Fairy. And the Primula, the Eureka Fairy Primula. I don't know, something like that. Nice Secret Rare. We'll take that. Back to our Battles of Chaos. Coming soon. Variant graded card. What you've all been waiting for. We're going to open one up. But first, we're going to pull a Starlight and a Dark Magician in the same pack. Imagine that. That would be amazing. Ooh, a Libromancer Geek Boy. That's a Secret Rare. We'll take that. Uh, Grows of the Tyrant of Thunder. Now we still have hope for the, the Dark Magician. This is why these are so fun, because you pull a secret rare and then you still have a chance for something. S Force Lepsis. Well, not good. All right, I think it is time for a variant graded card for Uber Trading. He wanted me to open these up for him. He said he saw someone pull a Chaos Emperor Dragon from IOC. So if we could get that, that would be crazy. That's what we're looking for. Uh, this is going to be difficult to open and reveal, like not reveal it, because you got to cut these open. It's pretty difficult. I'm going to do this. All right, these plastics, like early 2000s plastics are pretty dangerous. They're very sharp when you cut them open. So we're going to do it like this so we don't reveal it. And I don't want to cut myself either. BCCG, we got Beckett.com. A little bit of stuff going on there. Let's see if this is a Chaos Emperor Dragon. What do we think from the back? Does it look like an older card? It looks older to me. I think it's, a, I think it's an older card. Let's see. Oh, a Hero Spirit. So it's like... Sort of an older card, Secret Rare from DPK. I have no idea what DPK is. Special Edition, Duelist Pack, 2006. So it's definitely an older card. I mean, at this point, what is that, 17 years ago? Honestly, a pretty cool artwork. That's actually not a terrible pull. I mean, compared to this, you know, a $1 Wing Dragon Raw, this is probably only $1 too, but yeah, I think this is probably cooler. That's that's pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna stack these up. Pretty cool, Hero Spirit. That's uh, honestly kind of kind of cool. Like it's not a valuable card, but it's like actually cool to see something different. That's certainly different. I haven't really seen that card a lot in general. So, pretty nice stuff there. Let's see what else we can get. Can we get a Battles of Chaos, Starlight Rare? No, Dynamorphia Reversion. Let's see if we can get a Dark Magician. Come on, let's go. Dynamorphia Diplos and Ice Shade Erosion again. Not to worry, we still have OTS twenty one. Yes, and we are still flying half a ship. We have uh, Maze Attraction. We have Trapple of Spikes. And... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Not more of the token, dude. Please stop. Last King's Court. Let's see if we can pull a Collector Rare. What do we want to get? Oh, or a God card. That would be pretty big as well. Some pretty nice stuff. Collector Rare, God card. We have Utopic F-Zero, Pendulum X-Seas, Arcana Knight Joker, Rivalry of the Warlords, Reinforcement of the Army, 
Baxia and number 49. Okay, yeah, nothing crazy in there. That's okay. Let's just keep going. We have a lot of packs to open. There's still a chance to pull something good. It's gonna happen, right, guys? Totally gonna happen. Don't worry. Let's keep it going, Battles of Chaos. Let's pull something big. Tribe Drive, Soul Sweeper, Branded Disciple, Kaiza, Libromancer, Firestarter. That's our super. Now it needs to be a Dark Magician. Come on, Flower Dino. Ogdoidic Serpent Strike. Okay, all right, nothing that time. That's fine. Let's do Battles of Legend, Heroes Revenge. Then we're gonna open up our next variant graded card. See what it is. Pretty excited because it feels like it could be almost anything at this point. Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Let's go. Never pulled this card out of this set, at least. I've pulled the ulti, I think. It's at the beginning. I forgot. No. High Speed Roid Rubber Band Shooter. I think it's like a dollar and something. So hey, not terrible. Fortune Fairy Anne. Witch Raider. Duel Link Special. Battle Wasp. Pin the Bullseye. And Shadal Falco. So Shadal's getting that nice ultra rare treatment. You like to see that. It's variant card time. Time to chop chop. I really like the, uh, that, that's cool. That, that Yugi thing we got going on. Guaranteed to be Mint 9 or Gym Mint 10. What Mint 9 would it be? Would it be like a PSA graded card? Because I've never seen a BCCG 9. Like literally never. I don't know what it would be if it was a 9. So it's like almost better if it's a 9. Because that might mean it's like a real grade. You know, because like BCCG is not a real grade. Like they give everything a 10. So Honestly, it might be better if we see nine, which is the most backwards thing for graded ever. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Next rated card. They both have a little junk on the back. Does it look old? It does. I said, is it look old? Yeah, that looks old for sure. Let's see if it can be the hero spirit. Here we go. Beckett.com BCCG. So it's not going to be a nine, I don't think. Oh, it is a nine. Same card. The first ever nine BCCG card. Back in the day, maybe they used to grade a little harder. This is a, a first. I'm actually like kind of excited. First of all, it's lame that it's the same card. Second of all, I'm kind of hyped that we got a nine. I have never seen a nine. So that means this thing must be in horrible condition. Maybe that stuff on the back is actually there. Oh, I can almost see some scratches. Wow. A nine from BCCG. That's like a, like a two at PSA. <laughs> that is insane. Okay, now I'm getting a little less excited for the last one. Now that I have two hero spirits. If that's all hero spirit, that is gonna be quite unfortunate. Okay, but don't worry. We're going to pull a Starlight here and make up for it. Fire Opal Head. Ghost Trick Siren. Come on, Neroy. Vision with Eyes of Blue. Cool looking card. I mean, check out that artwork. Beautiful. The shine looks good. Dynamorphia Shell. That's a Ruxin special. And... Dude, it's been Ice Shade Erosion every time. Our last OTS Tournament Pack 21 pack. Let's go. Let's see what we can get. This has been a weird opening, guys. Let's see if we can get an Ultimate Rare to end it off. We have Network Trap Hole. We have Gishki and... Oh, God. Was that four out of five were the, were the Blackwing Feather Counter, or was it three? I don't know. It was bad. It was really bad. Okay, two more Battles of Chaos. We also have a Secret Slayers. Then we're going into the final Graded Mystery Pack. Oh, no. Oh, no. If that's Dark Magician. Do you guys remember when we pulled all those Dark Magicians? A lot of them were dinged. It was pretty rough. End of the line. Branded Disciple. The Noru. Libromancer Agent. Super rare. We have a Smoke Mosquito. Mad Hacker. Doll Monster. Okay, Imprudent Intrusion. Okay, not a damaged Dark Magician. That's good. Final Secret Slayers pack. First dead, Elblitch the Golden Lord. Please show up. I think there's also another good secret. It might be a Witchcrafter card. I can't remember which one it is. I remember there was one other card that was pretty strong. It was like 25, 30 bucks, something like that. Last time I opened it, which was a long time ago. So price is good to change by then. I think it's at the back still. We have a Quackamira Guardian. Good card. Uh, Rika Fairy. We got Quackamira Wall. The Cyclamen, the Rika Fairy. We got this last time. And Ad Emancipator Risen Dragite. So that Ad Emancipator deck, that's not a terrible card. Okay, okay. Battles of Chaos. Here we go. Our last chance before the graded card, which I feel like this is our last chance for a good pull, I should say, because the graded card, eh, not like it's so promising. Ghost Trick Siren. We got Ghost Trick or Treat. Skilled Brown Magician. Doll Happiness. Ooh, an Ultra Rare Libromancer Doom Broker. Okay, that's cool. We have a Mabel Maiden. Does anybody even play Libromancer? I haven't heard about him in forever. Some more. We got Ogdoidic and Ghost Trick Festival. Okay, it's at least... We're seeing a normal link just feels weird. I think they do them sometimes, but it just feels a little odd because it's like such a high, you know, power card and it's a, a normal card, you know, common. Okay, final chance of this video. Variant graded card. Shout out to Uber Trading for sending me these for a fun video. Um, I don't know if he's going to be too happy with this pull so far, but, you know... That's just how it goes sometimes. All right, let's see if we can get him the Chaos Ember Dragon. He won a Chaos Ember Dragon. He's going to end up with a BCCG9 Hero Spirit. So that's pretty rough. Whoa, okay. And uh, I, I, I should mention, uh, no surprise, but this is made by MJ Holding Company. All right, cool. Copyright 2006. All right, awesome. This is the sharpest plastic, man. It is, it is stabbing me every time I even get close to it. All right, 
Our last card. Look at the back of that thing, man. Wow, beautiful. That looks awesome. It looks like it's mostly on the slab. Maybe it's all on the slab. Just don't be a hero spirit. That's all I'm asking. Don't be a hero spirit. Or, the, or honestly, you're going to feel a lot like the, uh, the mystery gems. It's going to feel the exact same, which... Did they make the mystery gems? Time out. MJ Holding Company 2022. Why did I expect anything better? It's the same. It's the same people, man. All right, let's reveal their crappy card. Oh, it's not crappy. Chaos Emperor Dragon. It actually was the Chaos Emperor. It got the 10. It's not a nine. That is beautiful. No way. This is the one he wanted. What a way to end this mystery opening. Like, I just looked at this, and I, I lost all hope as soon as I realized it's the same company, and we got the same card. I was like, it's going to be another hero spirit. I didn't think it was going to be this one. So it's not IOC. Maybe it was TLM that he's talking about. This is the TLM uh, Special Edition promo. So if you guys remember, in Special Editions, you used to get promos, and Chaos Number Dragon was actually a promo in that, which is insane. So shout out to Uber Trading for sending me these, and I'm sure he's going to be, be happy now after getting that. So not only did we see a BCC G9, which we've never seen before, we also saw a good card come out of a mystery graded pack, which is insane. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this, hopefully more mystery gems that are actually good. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martin, Martinez, Anna Tai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.